Okay, today we're going to be replacing our blower motor. This is going to be on a 2005 Dodge Dakota, although it's my understanding that this is the exact same blower motor on the 2004 through 2006 Durangos, as well as the 05 and 06 Dakotas. Again, this is going to be on the 05 Dakota. Just to give you an idea of what was going on with mine, uh, my blower motor, frequently when I would start the vehicle and, and turn the blower on, it would not come on at all and simply by some mechanical agitation, i.e. banging it with my water bottle usually, uh, it would start up. So I'm gonna show you how to replace it. It's quite simple. Uh, pretty much anyone can do this. The only tool you need is a T15 Torx bit and, and that's gonna be it. So we're gonna start over here in the passenger compartment. And as you can see, the blower motor is located right there. This is what we're gonna be replacing. Now the first thing that we're gonna do, which is pretty simple, we're just gonna reach back up here where this plug goes in. I'm gonna press on it with my finger and it's gonna come right out. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be un we're gonna be loosening up and taking out these three T15 Torx bits. There's three of them. One, two, and there's one right there. So let me get my Torx bit out and take care of those and We'll revisit installing it. Okay, <clears throat> I just dropped the old one down. The biggest piece of advice that I can give you when it comes to taking this out is to get yourself a short Torx driver. Um, you can see the length of mine here. Just because the screw at the very back is kind of tough to get to as far as getting it straight on. Um, but this was, I had no trouble with this, angling it in there and, and it you know, got enough of the head to pull it out without any problem. We're simply gonna insert it back up in here, put our three screws in, plug in this power cable that I removed from it, and we should be good to go. Okay, got the new one in place. You can see, screwed back in there. Just leaving the cable hanging out here for right now. I'm gonna turn the vehicle on, just verify. And it does in fact work. So all that's gonna be left is for me to basically route that cable up, um, put it back up in there, and we'll be done. 